stretch. Oh, guys, hi. Hi, good morning. Uh, it is 11.01. Last time I I mean, obviously, last time I looked, it was like 10 something. But that was only like two minutes ago that it was 10 something, so. Yeah, my hair probably looks crazy. And my lips, they still feel kind of sticky. I put on makeup yesterday. Uh, and that included some lip stuff. And I took my makeup off last night with a makeup wipe. Uh, but the lip stuff didn't all come off. So, there's that. Um, I have this little girl on my lap. Super cute. Just sitting all cute. She needs a diaper change. But she's sleeping. And I don't want to wake her up when she's sleeping. Today was another morning where... Um, she woke up at like eight something. And was kind of just fussing. She wasn't like bawling or anything. Like super crying loud. Whatever. Um, but I could feel my milk had come in. Uh, oh no, she has a little thing. Right there. Anyway, I could feel the milk kind of it had come in, so I went and fed her, and she fell, she fell asleep when I fed her, and she's still asleep. And I just decided to come down here and have some breakfast. So I had some toast and some coffee, coffee, and now I'm just watching videos. Whenever she wakes up, I'm going to change her diaper, and I need to bring her diaper bag downstairs still. Uh, but last night, uh, it was kind of nice. It was kind of weird. Just because it was out of the ordinary. But I feel like I, unless it was just like, because it was new, I feel like I could uh, really start to make a schedule <laughs> based off how last night went. Because I have been, um, if you don't already know, uh, I've been staying in one of our extra rooms, um, like to sleep and stuff, and it has like a futon and like a side cheap type thing, side table, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it has a closet, but I don't keep anything in there. Um, so I've been kind of making my room in there because our room, which I could probably move back into now because it's been weeks, um, our room, we have the window open and been trying to kind of freeze it out to get rid of the bugs, which I haven't seen in a couple days at least. I saw one, I think a few days ago on my sleeve when I was in the room that I'm staying in. But anyway, um... I haven't been in the bedroom, so I kind of had, I kind of have, uh, made it kind of, I don't know, homey made it, have everything in there that I need, that we need, <laughs> me and Gwen, and Brett, uh, pretty much since I've been home from the hospital and home from my mom, like, came here from my mom's, he's been sleeping down here on the couch, uh, partly because it's too warm upstairs, and then probably... Although he hasn't said it probably because I like, I have to get up and stuff. Although she's been sleeping a lot better. She's been sleeping, sleeping, and his last night was like five, around five hours. But before that, the last few nights were like six hours. It's been pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Look at this little girl. She's just moving around. So cute. <laughs> um, but anyway, last night, and I should have vlogged it, but, um, Brett had this, his, not last night, but he had the rocking chair, it's like a glider, um, wooden chair, it's not like all comfy and stuff, it's like a wooden chair, uh, but it's a glider thing, um, he had that in our garage because he was, uh, trying to kind of like fix it up and stuff a little bit, make it a little more new feeling, because it's been around since at least since he was baby. And I think it was used before that. So, like, before they bought it. It was, they bought it used. So anyway, that's been out in the garage, but, um, 
the room that I'm staying in and that we're gonna have that glider or well it is but um have that in her room like that's like a rocking chair um so in the room that I'm staying in like I said it's just the futon and I actually recently moved her uh hope chest thing in there which isn't really strong enough for me to sit on she could probably sit on it and be fine even as a toddler but uh it's not super strong the top isn't it, to sit on so I have that in there now uh, because I wanted it out of her room because I wanted other stuff in there but anyway it's just the futon and that thing now um, so the futon um, there's no place it's not up against the wall really even so there's no place for me to unless I sit on the floor for me to sit down and have something to, for my back to rest up against and so if I were to feed her in there, which I had been doing, or like just holding her, sitting on the bed, my back gets tired, just like kind of arched and it's just not, it gets really uncomfortable and even feeding her, I can't really, I couldn't really comfortably feed her for very long because my back was hurting, plus it, it hurt when she was feeding. And uh, yeah, so anyway, last night I took the, the rock, the glider up, I carried it from the garage into the house and up there and it is heavy, let me tell you. Um, it's not huge, but it's heavy because it has all that glider stuff at the bottom of it. So I took that upstairs and I utilized that a lot last night. <laughs> Every time I went to feed her, which was a lot because she would eat and then kind of fall asleep and then I'd lay her down and then she'd kind of get fussy and then start crying and I probably fed her like six times <laughs> before we went to bed for good. But uh, it was really nice to have that. The <laughs> this little girl, she was stretching her feet. And uh, that happened. There's a lot of times where I've been watching videos and she's kicked her foot out and I had it, my phone sitting here and my phone just gets tossed like on the floor over there. Oh, that's a rope by the way. It's not like poop. <laughs> So anyway, that happened, but it's what ifs. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I used the rocking chair a lot. Every time I fed her, I, I went and sat in there. And the back of it isn't comfortable, but there's a cushion that we have for it. So I sat in that, and that's this cushion's super comfortable. Um, we'll just have to get something for my head to rest against, because that part's not comfy. And it like, I don't know, it's kind of like a little edge type of part of the chair that my head rests on and so it's just not comfortable but it's a lot more comfortable to have something leaning against plus it rocks and that was so nice um, but she finally went to bed around two something um, after feeding and I was determined I was determined to not use formula and so I may be able to oh and then I also uh, brought her uh, bassinet in from our bedroom because it's been in our bedroom the last few, week, few weeks and I was just iffy on whether or not to take it out but last night I was like okay I need to take it out um so I took the bassinet which is now in in this extra room although at this point I'll probably be moving back to our room soon but I had her sleep in the bassinet last night and she slept those like five hours in the bassinet which is super great because the last time I had her sleeping in the bassinet was when I was in our bedroom before I moved out of the room and that was like when she was a couple weeks old maybe and she wasn't sleeping in there very good but she wasn't really sleeping at night very good anyway which I mean I guess that was the only place she was sleeping so but she slept pretty well in the bassinet last night which is great um because I prefer her to be sleeping in her own area um I might get some hate for saying this, uh, or not just because I'm saying it, but because of it. But I've been having her sleep on the bed because I didn't have the bassinet in there or anywhere else in there for her to sleep without the bassinet being there. Um, I didn't want to put her in the crib yet. I wanted her in the same room. So I had her sleeping on the bed, and it was kind of getting to the point because she moves around so much that I would wake up and she would be scooted. Like She wasn't like right up against me when I went to sleep. She was like on the other side of the bed. Um, but not like right on the edge. 
and she would scoot to either where her feet were like up against me and like kicking me um because she had like scooted toward me or she would be like because she'd be laying like horizontal to me or whatever perpendicular and uh or i would have her laying like vertical whatever to me uh parallel to me and she would scoot this way and be like right up against me as i'm laying there and um i'm a i'm a light sleeper so it's not a problem i'm not going to roll on her but but I didn't prefer that to be the case, especially with her moving so much now. So I have her in the bassinet, and last night, aside from the fact that she took forever to go to sleep, which is a, it's a process, we're both learning, um, but it went really well, I think. Um, I was able to feed her a bunch and not totally be dying from her feeding on me, and uh, I hope this isn't <laughs> showing too much. And, um, she slept in her bassinet, which is great, because she hasn't slept in there for a while. And, uh, I always, well, I watch this person on YouTube. <laughs> I don't get to talk to people very often, so I'm sorry if I'm talking your head off and not really showing you much. But, um, I watch this girl on YouTube. Um, she's actually a stay-at-home mom now, which is what I am. Well, I guess I can't officially say that because I haven't officially told my work yet. But, um, she's a stay-at-home mom. And, uh, she exclusively breastfeeds. I think sometimes she, well, yeah, she'll pump now. But she mainly exclusively breastfeeds. Um, and she doesn't use formula. So, ugh, let's see if I can sit up a little bit. <laughs> um, so she has been trying to train her, uh, baby to like be able to use a bottle from what she pumps so her husband can feed the baby um his name's hunter so her husband can feed hunter and he'll eat from somebody other than just her and like in the future that'll be great um that he'll eat from somebody other than just his mom because otherwise it's really inconvenient for her uh for future things so um she's been kind of dealing with trying to get him to drink from a bottle and I, unless it was just her a few times but I feel like somebody else that I watched uh, was having a little bit of problems trying to get their kid to drink from a bottle because they're used to just drinking from them oh yeah I think it was a girl that I watched uh, their month update of somebody that I don't regularly watch um, but Gwen she I mean she's kind of been drinking from bottles since like day one day two <laughs> literally um, I mean, she drinks for me too, but I was trying to, trying to pu exclusively pump because it just hurt and it just wasn't doing much good. So, uh, and she laughed just fine. But anyway, she's been drinking from bottles, so she, she can drink on me and not have a problem. Like, doesn't fuss or anything, doesn't get upset and is able to do it and just as well with the bottle and she is drink like other people feeding her the bottle she does perfectly fine she just wants the food <laughs> so the only problem i've had is just getting enough for her but um i felt some come in just like about a half hour ago maybe um and she's sleeping so I'm, i was thinking about pumping i may do that um but i'll have to put her down if i do that so if i put her down she may wake up anyway but um yeah as far as like being able to drink and drinking from a bottle, drinking from me, she has no problems. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I think that's all that's going to be in this video because I am almost 15 minutes. So I'm sorry for talking your head off. I just don't get to talk to you very much. And I want to post a lot of this on Facebook, a lot of stuff on Facebook. But, and you may be watching this because you saw it posted on Facebook. But um, a lot of people on Facebook have opinions. <laughs> And I don't want everybody's opinions. Um, you're welcome to comment below if you have opinions. I like I like hear I like seeing comments, but uh, I, also on Facebook it just seems like you're you're uh, looking for attention type thing. But this you can choose whether or not to watch it, especially if I post it on Facebook and be like, and dim and not watch it, and that's fine. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna end this here. I'll show you one more view of the baby because she's so cute. Look at that baby. She's so cute.
Oh my goodness, she's like smiling. She smiled for a minute. Anyway, uh, yeah, this will just be the video I think for today unless something exciting happens, but I'm not planning on that happening, so. Toodles.